Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another quick pick prediction video. In this video, I'll be predicting the middleweight bout between Chris Weidman versus Brad Tavares. And how I feel about this one right here is I'm going to go average confidence on Brad Tavares to beat Chris Weidman here. Um, is it really like such a good pick, confident pick or nothing like that? Not really, to be honest. Brad Tavares' chin is so questionable and he's such a up and down fighter. He has his moments. The most consistent thing about Brad Tavares is his takedown defense, which is why I'm going to lean to him. He's a pretty good anti-grappler. But then again, Chris Wyman is by far the best wrestler. I think he'll have for Well, not he's not the best because he's the old Romero one. But he's up there. He's like top two best wrestlers he's ever fought in his career. And most people he has that anti-grappler um, label against are nowhere near the wrestler that um, Chris Wyman is or was. But nonetheless, Chris Wyman is pushing 40. He's up there in age. He's been inactive. He's older than Anderson Silva was when Chris Wyman beat him. I think Anderson Silva was like 38 when... um. He lost his middleweight title to um, Chris Weidman. Now Chris Weidman is like 39 years old. You know, time flies. This, not too long ago, it felt like Chris Weidman was the young dude coming up. I think he was like 5-0, 6-0 when he beat Anderson Silva. Like, the new guy, the new kid, supposed to, you know, be the next big thing and be the next great. And probably reign for like, you know, five years, you know, until he's like 35, 36 or something, then started to decline. But that decline came much quicker than expected. And then you know, Luke Rocco would be able to, you know, him and Luke Rocco would be able to hold the mantle. Then both of them just fell flat and got passed over for other people. And their legacies and careers were not even a quarter of what it could have been or should have been or was expected to be. But hey, both of them still end up being champions. So, and Chris Wyman still has what, like the third or fourth most? No, I think he has like, yeah, he has like the, um, Third most defenses in middleweight history. So, he's still up there. But, um, yeah. Four, pushing 40, not a good look. Going in with a good anti-grappler. And even when he was in his prime, it was not like he was the guy that went for 20 takedowns. Something like that. So, I'm not saying he has poor wrestling card. I'm just saying he's not no Kobe Covenant as far as he's not a cardio fiend wrestler. Or Mirab Duval is really like a cardio fiend wrestler. Even in his prime, probably, at most, probably go for... Now, matter of fact, in his prime, he probably went for like six or seven takedowns. Max. Probably really, on average, like four. But he was getting finishes. But now I think he's probably held to about two good takedown attempts. And yeah, so if pushing 40, inactive, coming off injury, I think he probably held to two good takedowns over the course of 15 minutes. Probably four takedowns overall, but two real good ones. And I think Brad Tavares can deal with that. At this point, I think Brad Tavares has still been more active, much more active than um, Chris Weidman. He's younger than Chris Weidman. I think he's a more technical striker. And he could address the wrestling now. I think he could just keep a landing on Chris Wyman, accumulating damage, and Chris Wyman is not going to be able to intelligently defending himself and going to be trying to use his wrestling to defend. But when he's not able to get those takedowns or those takedown rates starts to dip and the success starts to dip, he's going to be a sitting duck on the feet. And I think um, Fred Evers is going to accumulate damage on him. And I think the ref is going to stop the fight. Like It'll be probably like a standing TKO. Wyman again getting teed off on, not intelligently defending himself. And it's going to be like a third-round TKO, just accumulation of damage and not intelligently defending himself. So in this one, I have Brad Tavares via third round TKO.